EcoHealth. Welcome to Mosquito Tools and Skills. All our body parts have a purpose. Mosquito bodies are the same. Their bodies have specialized tools and built-in skills to help them get what they need, not only to survive, but to thrive. My name's Carol Ann Hagley, and I'm the Education Specialist from the San Gabriel Valley Mosquito and Vector Control District. We're going to look at how mosquitoes use their tools and skills they've been using since the age of dinosaurs. Every career has specific tools and skills needed to get the job done and for a person to lead a successful life. Whether you're a scientist or a policeman or a baker or a pilot, you do your job in a certain place using tools designed to get the job done and skills learned to succeed at that job so you can take care of yourself and your family. Plants and animals are no different. Each kind has a special place where their skills and tools work best for them. Let's look at a few different kinds of critters that use their tools and skills to get food, find a safe place to rest, find mates, and rear the next generation. Like people, a few animals can make their own tools. Chimpanzees were the first animals we observed making tools, and now scientists have found that a few other animals, such as crows, can make tools too. The crow's beak can serve as a tool to hold the stick, but it can also be used to catch food without the stick. The ant is a good example of an animal that has modified mouthparts that are used as a tool, in this case to cut up a leaf. The little hummingbird hawk moth is not a bird, but a type of moth. All butterflies and moths have long tubular mouthparts that allow them to sip nectar from flowers. Their mouthparts are shaped like a straw. Mouthparts aren't the only tools animals have to allow them to succeed and thrive in their special place. Other external features that are used as tools include feet, legs, wings, and other external body parts along with internal structures too. Body shapes, colors, and sizes Modified external and internal body parts are not random. They serve a purpose. The way plants and animals look and how they behave reflects where they live and how they fit into their ecosystem. Let's take a closer look at an animal that lived along with dinosaurs and can be found looking and acting pretty much the same today in our own yards. Mosquitoes have been around for more than a hundred million years. We know this because we found ancient mosquitoes trapped in fossilized tree resin or amber. Every scale and wing vein is perfectly preserved. Guess what? They look almost identical to the mosquitoes that live in our neighborhoods today. What makes mosquitoes so successful? The tools and skills work well for them no matter the environment. The only place you won't find mosquitoes is Antarctica. A few things to remember about mosquitoes. Only female mosquitoes bite and transmit pathogens or germs that can make people and animals sick. Every year around the world, the diseases mosquitoes carry kill an average of 750,000 people. Knowing as much about how mosquitoes operate and succeed helps us protect ourselves from their bites and the diseases they cause. Let's take a closer look at what tools and skills mosquitoes have and what they need to thrive. Mosquitoes, like all other insects, have three body parts. They have a head, which includes the eyes, proboscis, and antenna. They have a thorax, where there are six legs and two pairs of wings plus haltiers are attached, and they have an abdomen. When mosquitoes are in their habitat, like people in their workplaces, each part of their body has specific functions that allow them to be successful. Mosquitoes have mouthparts formed into a tool called a proboscis. It's a long straw-shaped toolbox that contains multiple tools to help them get blood from people or animals they bite. Look deep under the skin as a mosquito bites. What is going on here? Can you feel a mosquito as it bites you? 
Why? How does a mosquito do this? The mosquito main tools are modified mouth parts for the proboscis. Male mosquitoes drink plant juices and nectar from flowers. So do female mosquitoes, but females also bite animals to get blood. She needs blood to make eggs. Look at her proboscis. We've circled it in blue. There's a covering that protects her tools. It's a dark brown and it bends back as she saws into the skin. Her proboscis has many parts. Some have jagged edges like a saw. She vibrates them very fast, which allows her to cut into our skin. Other parts help hold the skin apart and a needle shaped piece that allows her to inject saliva with a chemical that numbs the feeling as she bites and a protein to keep blood from clotting. If she has any pathogens, viruses, bacteria, or parasites in her saliva, this is how they are transferred into our bodies. Once she's blocked the feeling of her bite and the blood is flowing freely, she pulls the blood into her body and stores it in her balloon-like gut inside the abdomen. Can you see the blood showing through the proboscis and the gut wall of the mosquito's abdomen? Mosquitoes have antennae. They don't have ears or nose like people. These furry looking antennae stick out from the top of their heads and allow them to listen and smell. The antennae have receptors that pick up the chemicals we give off from our breath and from our skin. The antenna also detect the movement of air. Mosquitoes are super sniffers. Their antenna help them find us. They can detect the CO2 in our breath from over 30 feet away. Once they get a little closer, they can see us with their eyes. And when they are about to land on our skin, their antenna help them feel our heat and moisture. I'm getting itchy just thinking about a mosquito landing on my skin. Have you ever tried to smash a mosquito, but it was just too fast? Mosquitoes also have wings attached to the second segment of their body, the thorax. Transportation, just like other winged animals, they use these wings to travel. Nectar and plant juices may be easier to find, but females need blood. They need to get in and bite and escape quickly. Wings help them find us and get away after they bite us. Females must find the right place to lay their eggs. The water must be trapped and contain food for her babies. Sometimes they have to fly quite a distance to find the right place. Communication. Each species of mosquito makes a slightly different sound when flying. Males and females of the same species sound different from one another too. The males can pick up on the vibration of a female as she flies by. Just behind the wings are small structures that look like the joystick for a video game. They're called haltiers and they help the mosquito fly and change their direction quickly. They vibrate up and down in time with the wings and act as gyroscopes to help control the direction of flight and keep the insect from spinning in midair. Mosquitoes use multiple body parts to accomplish different tasks. Along with the haltiers, mosquitoes use their legs and abdomen as rudders for directional flight. The last body segment is their abdomen. The abdomen contains air sacs for breathing. It contains the tube-like heart, the digestive tract, and the reproductive system. The abdomen can expand to hold a large amount of blood Check this out. Whoa, while she eats, the mosquito only has so much room in her abdomen for blood. So structures in her gut help her separate the water from the blood. Would you look at that? She's excreting the extra water to make space for more blood while she's feeding. Once she's digested the blood, her body has enough protein to make eggs inside her abdomen. This mosquito has landed on the surface of trapped water and is laying a raft of eggs. Can you see how she holds the eggs with her hind legs and glues each egg to the rest? She will fly away and the eggs will float on the surface of the water as a group until they hatch. Each egg has a cap at the bottom which opens and drops the baby mosquito, called a larva, 
into the water. Some types of mosquitoes lay their eggs directly on the water's surface. Others lay their eggs in dry containers that have held water in the past. Female Aedes mosquitoes lay eggs individually on the sides of containers, whether they have water in them or not. She can smell the mineral deposits on dry containers that used to hold water. She will lay a few eggs and move on. If the container does fill with water again later, her eggs will be waiting. Places where Aedes lay their eggs include the insides of buckets, toys, plant trays, and trash left outside for a long time. Once these items fill with rain or sprinkler water and the temperature is just right, the eggs will hatch. These eggs have a tough shell and can stay dry for years and still hatch as soon as they get wet. Aedes will come inside your house to lay eggs in flower vases and glass jars with plants rooted in water. Can they really walk on water? Yes! Mosquitoes' legs are long, thin, and flexible. That long, flexible part can support up to 20 times the weight of the mosquito by conforming to the water's surface. Like the rest of the mosquito, the leg is covered in scales that repel water molecules. Just like a baker needs a kitchen with an oven and a stove, mosquitoes must have trapped water. Trapped water, also called stagnant or standing water, doesn't go away quickly and grows algae and bacteria in it, perfect food for baby mosquitoes. Trapped water can be found around our homes in small amounts, trapped in items left where they can fill up with rain or water from sprinklers. Allowing water to collect around your home will attract female mosquitoes. They can smell it. After the female lays her egg, she's ready for more blood. If you're nearby, she may bite you. Baby mosquitoes spend their entire lives in the water. They only leave the water when they turn into adults. So, what should you do to make the area around your home less attractive to mosquitoes? When the eggs hatch, the baby mosquitoes use special tools to eat and breathe. They use a set of whiskers to sweep algae and bacteria into their mouths. They must breathe air from the surface. They do this by using a tube called a siphon. The siphon looks like a little tail at the end of its body that breaks through the surface of the water so air can flow through the tube. The larva molts several times before it turns into a pupa. The pupa does not eat. It's busy transforming into an adult mosquito. When it is ready, the pupa rests at the surface and then the case splits down the back and the adult mosquito comes out of its casing ready to fly and bite. This whole process only takes five to seven days. That's right, five to seven days. It takes people 18 years to become an adult, but only a week for a mosquito. Mosquitoes in our area can carry viruses that cause West Nile fever, St. Louis encephalitis, Western equine encephalitis, dengue fever, yellow fever, and Zika. The viruses are living in her saliva and as she bites, she introduces some saliva into our bodies. If there are viruses present, they go with the flow and are injected into our skin. This is why mosquitoes are dangerous. What can we do to protect ourselves? Don't give mosquitoes a place to do their job or use their tools and skills on you. Keep mosquitoes from landing and biting. Wear insect repellent on your skin. Cover up so they can't bite you. Or stay indoors when they're active. Don't allow trapped water to sit around your house. Trapped water attracts biting female mosquitoes. Get rid of all trapped water and any dry containers that might trap and hold rain or sprinkler water. Don't provide a workplace for mosquitoes or a daycare for their babies. Tip, toss, protect. Anybody can do it.